The gentleman will follow. No good can come of religious fanaticism. Report. The Novigrad delegation is half a day's travel from here. Well, they truly are rushing. Return to your post. Yes, sir. What of Novigrad's higher up? What of him? Will he get his will earned rest or be sent straight to Dan Rua? At his age, the journey would be ill advised. Yes, and as costly. Hmm. His Imperial Majesty awaits. Enough. Siri tried to stop it. She did, but paid the ultimate price. Where is the body? I doubt it'll ever be found. Who else knows? Avalach, Elven Sage. But I doubt you'll find him either. And Yennefer? She's decided to stay in the north, provided you don't object. I don't. And you? Someone's waiting for me. Triss Marigold. Fear not. I do not intend to have her pursued. Did Cyrilla say... Did she ask you to convey anything? She regretted not getting a chance to say goodbye. Did she tell you this? Really? Didn't have to. She wanted to make peace. I know that. If there's nothing else... There is, but you may go. Witcher! I do not wish to see you... ever again. Need help with your wagon? I think we'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, you betcha. We'll manage. True, the barrels are ample, but we shall pour some off of each soon. Change is coming. True, no denying it. Nilfgaard flees, yet here it seemed nothing could move them. Left their wine behind too. That's generous. Sure you don't need any help? I believe we will manage. Where are you headed? Nearest inn, by the looks of it. Yeah. Supposed to meet someone first, at the former campsite of the Nilf Guardians. You take care now. Quick now! 
Or will you stay to welcome Robert? Master Ort. <sighs> Probably got held back. You're late. Soldiers. Blocking the roads, I know. No matter. You have it? As agreed. Thirty-eight and a half inch blade. Weight, just under forty ounces. Silver-plated siderite steel core. Glyphs and runes both the length of the blade and on the hilt. Beautiful. Been in this trade for three decades. Only the best swordsman of the coin for my wares. When I say no witcher has, or ever had a better weapon. You ought to trust me. Reputation precedes you, Master Ort. I'd never doubt you. The inscription, as you asked. Zirael. Swallow. Classic Elder Speech runes. No styling. Simple and precise. May I? It is yours. If you'd like to test it, have my lackeys put out a training dummy. Mm-hmm. Your payment. Gems only, as requested. If you've an eye out for work, heard a striggers prowl in the Maribo forest. Thanks. Need to visit the tavern first, but after, who knows? Good luck on the path, Witcher. Let's go!
Light out. How was your trip? Smooth sailing. You still on about that leaky tub from the Isle of Mist? You're lucky you and that lass weren't in it with us. You'd not have fit anyhow. We're so laid in that boat, we barely made land. And it reeked of fish manure. You stole my boat. Borrowed. We knew it was yours, still is. You don't think we'd do that to a mate like you? Plow you soapless while you slept off a bender. Uh, hmm? Oh, that's good. <laughs> so, gonna give me my boat back? Why in the God's names would you need a boat in this brush? Fair enough. Forget I said anything. How'd you wind up here? Our affairs brought us here. Hard times, you know. Got to earn the coin where you can. Folk around here need surveyors? We've shifted our efforts. Investors, now. Investors. They've come for us. Hide! <sighs> eh? What's going on? You've not seen us? Where are the dwarves? Dwarves? Do not play games with me, Richard. They are thieves. They stole Lord Dagborg's golden chalice. Dagborg? Who's that? The new governor of these lands. The chalice must be found. Tell us what you know, or you will force us to extract it. That a threat? The Witcher will not cooperate. Take him. Thank you for that, Witcher. I told the lads back then you're a good fella, and we shouldn't have took your boat. Heard you've gone into investments. Asset management. Aye, aye. Investments and movable assets. Well, these days you just never know when... That extra gold chalice could come in handy. I get it. What did you do with it? Uh, we don't have it. Found a buyer. Mr. Mirrorly, what was it? Funny name. Paid good coin, though. We'd share it with you, we would, but but you look like one who just frowned in any proceeds from theft. Aye, you got that righteous frown on you, definitely. I don't want your coin. <laughs> look at him, all offended. You think we showed him a picture of a naked lass? Witcher's got their creed. No stealing, no pinching wenches at the tavern, and no assaulting travellers. We make exceptions. For travelers especially. Uh, oh, uh, farewell, Witcher. Is it done? Yes. Did he believe you? I have no idea. For the cockatrice. And we've a new contract. 
It won't pay much, but I think it worth the toil. You've been busy. It's yours. A witcher's sword. Swallow. Ooh, beautiful. May I? Not here. You'll have ample opportunity soon enough, witcher. Let's try it out then. The Third Northern War ended. The invader from the south achieved complete victory. Robbed of Radovid's tactical genius, the Northern realms could not withstand Emir's countless legions. Black banners appeared over Novigrad and all Redania. Weary of rebel raids, Emir Varemris conceded, restoring Temeria as a realm in liege to the Empire. When the guerrillas laid down their arms, the Emperor shifted his forces to other fronts. Through Nilfgaard's victory, Temerians got their country back, and history once again proved a consummate trickster. Having dealt with Radovid, Emir of Vardemris did the same with enemies domestic. The Emperor's loyal spies named all who had conspired against him, traitors, soldiers, and aristocrats alike. Though their mutiny had only been a murky plan, the Emperor showed no mercy, as was his wont. While the continent bled engulfed by war, Skellica bloomed under Ceres's enlightened rule. Unlike those who had come before her, the young queen did not raid foreign shores, looking instead to her people, tending to her land. The island-bound nation prospered, though its fangs of yore were dulled. Cyrilla, Fiona, Ellen, Rhiannon, heir to Nilfgaard's throne, chose the life of a witcher on the path. Geralt taught her all he knew, every skill he possessed, then each set off on their own. Soon, word of the ashen-haired witcheress had spread throughout the north, from the Yoruga to the mountains of Kovir. Hard as it may be to believe, Geralt planted roots in faraway Kovir. He and Triss settled down, their home warm and smelling of freshly baked cakes. Guests were always welcome, no matter the day or the hour. The witcher would take jobs at times more from habit than need, for Triss earned a true fortune as the mage advisor to Kovir's king. 